down to a collectivo, which are these like shared taxi things. A little bit confusing to find, but then people just yell and tell you where to go. Everybody got really helpful all of a sudden. Yeah, all of a sudden. Um, so yeah, we're heading to Morass to see the salt mines today. So this is the cheapest way we found to do it, so hopefully it's not too confusing. This, this ride will take us to the turn off to Morass for six souls. For six souls. So it's not bad. our collectivo leaving right there. We just got dropped at the Maras stop. Um, this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a, kind of a stop out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but if we go down that road there, uh, we can get to Maras. But apparently, we just talked to a cab around here somewhere, wherever they may or may not be, and um, tell them we want to go to the salt mines. So we're going to give that a go here. And we'll see how this works. So we found some kind of transportation. It's gonna cost us 15 souls to just get there. Uh, the internet's at 10. Maybe we're paying gringo tax, maybe we're not. But um, we, had, we had it worked out that it was uh, 30 to get there and then wait for like 40 minutes and then come back, bring us back. Um, yeah, but we don't know, we don't wanna feel rushed, right? So maybe 40 is gonna be tons and maybe it's going to cost us more to get back because they know that once we're out there, whatever. But um, we don't want to feel rushed, we're just going to get out there. So I guess this is the start of the little stream, the saltwater stream, that they feed the entire sort of like salt mines with. So they take the water and they divert it into these different pools. Divert the water somewhere else and then let the sun evaporate all the water until you're left with like a layer of salt. And I guess they do that like a whole bunch of times until it's like thick enough to harvest. And then you like scrape up all the salt. I was under the impression that because it was a random saltwater spring, it wouldn't be very salty. Well, I dipped my finger in the water and tried it. Uh, and it's actually like super salty. I thought that they would, it would be like way less salty and just like over time, like you'll put more in, let it evaporate, put more in, let it evaporate and like slowly build up salt, but it's like seawater level salty. So we walked along here to get a better view. It's pretty cool. And there's a couple people working over there. Don't totally think I should be down here, but there's no signs. So we made it back to Cusco. There's a huge festival in this main square, so we had to get out of there fast. Um, so our day at the salt mines was really good. Um, it probably cost us about eleven dollars total each. It was 10 soles to get into the salt mines. And then on the way back, it's hard to find a taxi, but we found two Americans that spoke Spanish, so they helped us find one that was actually heading, like had space for people to head down, because most of them, they drive you up and wait for you, so a lot of them didn't have space. So we finally found one on the way down, and that cost us six souls each, back to the where we catch the collectivo. And then, 
we were going to catch a collectivo, but then these taxi drivers were like, oh, well. Because there's four of us. There was four of us. There's, there's two us. other Swiss travelers. We're also and, going back to Cusco. Yeah. And they said it would be 25 souls for all four of us. But unfortunately, when he did drop us off, he pretended that we agreed he tried on more. But the Swiss people we were with said that it just happens and you just have to kind of walk away. But now we're back, so we're going to just grab some lunch and relax for the rest of the day, essentially. So.